Have you ever wished that you could just take what you have in your spreadsheet and feed it into a sales order in Odoo? If you've wished for that, you're not alone. There are a lot of companies I know that have complicated models inside of Excel that build out quotations, and trying to replicate that in Odoo is, well, almost impossible sometimes. I mean, it was, but with Odoo 18, they've added a cool little functionality that could actually make this much easier. I'm actually really surprised that Odoo hasn't done a video on this themselves yet, just because it's such a cool functionality. As far as I can tell, they don't even have documentation on it yet, which is kind of crazy. That being said, I've bumped into a bunch of walls and figured out all the basics, so I'm going to share those with you today so that you can build out really cool quotation builders inside of Odoo. So we're going to start off in our demo database, and we definitely, definitely want to be in developer mode for this. And this whole thing revolves around quotation templates. You have to have a quotation template for this to work. So let's start there. Okay, so I have a super awesome office, at least in my dreams I do, and we're going to sell that super awesome office to people. So let's go ahead and build that out. We're going to do a new quotation template, and it's Andrew's super awesome office. Okay. And inside of this, we're not going to do anything crazy with quotation validity, confirmation mail, company, invoicing journal, but we do want a quote calculator. So we go ahead and come into this, and I say, Andrew's super awesome office, and try and create an edit, and bring that up. And now we've got our starting point here. Now let's take a step back real quick. We're not quite ready for the spreadsheet at this point. We want to create the lines that are going to be on our sales orders. So let's add a few things in here. I'm going to say, yeah, a large cabinet could be in my super awesome office. Um, corner desk, definitely. Um, a storage box. And really the big thing that ties all of this together is going to be our 100 inch monitors kind of crazy i don't know that those actually exist but they do in our world now and notice i said monitors plural we need three of these most likely monitors should really be singular but you'll forgive me right okay let's go ahead and start building this out so when we click in we'll see this may refresh on its own but essentially it's pulling in all the different products that we have you need to kind of ignore this a little bit but we're going to go to data Refresh all data just to make sure that this is up to date, but this is going to be the table that pushes back to our actual sales order lines. You're going to have to make sure that you're pretty well grounded for this though. Basically this is saying, okay, we're going to take the first product inside of the sales order and bring that in here. Okay. And then we need to decide what's going to sync back into our sales order. But let's build out some calculations first to make this kind of interesting and fun. And actually to kind of help myself, I'm just going to make this a little bit easier by coming in and saying, okay, my first line is large cabinet, then corner desk right sit. So we're going to say large cabinet, corner desk right sit, um, storage box, and 100 inch monitors. Okay, so this is going to pull in off of the sales order and then I can push it back however I want. So I don't think the large cabinet, the corner desk right sit, the storage box are gonna change too much, but let's go ahead and play around with that. So we're gonna do plus and I'm gonna just call this quotation builder. This stuff You've probably already done with your company if you've got a massive excel spreadsheet that builds out your quotations so i'm not going to spend a ton of time on this but i want to show you how it can drive back so we're going to say quotation builder and we're going to start this out and of course this is going to be a silly example so we're going to ask the customer how awesome they are are they a little bit awesome are they getting more awesome are they pretty awesome or totally awesome and based on that, we're going to set the number of monitors that we're going to sell to our customer. So I'm going to say that this customer is totally awesome. That's going to mean that they have 10 100 inch monitors. Might be a bit excessive, but they're totally awesome. And I'm going to go ahead and rename this sheet and make sure this is push to SO lines, or actually we'll just call it SO lines to be consistent with what Odoo does. So we've got these 100 inch monitors. I want to go ahead and set this based on a VLOOKUP and it's going to be based off of this, the search key range. The range is going to be right here. Okay, Let me make that an F4 so that's absolute. Uh, we're going to take the second column and say false. Okay, 
So that gives me 10 of those. If I go ahead and switch this to a little bit awesome, gives me one of those. And then we're going to need our sync. So for the sync, we want to right click, click sync with field, and it's going to be record to sync position. So this is going to be our fourth line. So we want to say this is the fourth line in our sales order, and we're going to sync it to quantity. And that's really all we need to do there. And just to make sure we're on the same page, I could go ahead and sync the unit price if I wanted to. I'm going to go to sync to field. I need to set the record to sync to number four. And then I can choose really any field on the sales order line level. It's pretty, pretty robust. You could do a ton with this. Okay, I think we're ready to test this out and see how it works. So let's go into a sale, go to new, and we're going to sell this to our friends, Deco Addict. They want to be awesome like us. I'm going to grab this Andrew's Super Awesome Office. It brings in all of our products here, and it gives me this cool little smart button up top that says Quote Calculator. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, click Quote Calculator, and let's see how this works. Okay, so we asked the customer, how awesome are you? And they say, well, I'm honestly totally awesome. That's really all you should know about me. We're going to go ahead and save this in Sales Order 32. And you can see when we save it, it brings back our 10 100 inch monitors, which we may want to fix our pricing, but our quote calculator works really well. Now that's really all there is to it. It's that simple. It doesn't need to be anything too crazy and you can use your Excel mastery skills to make these awesome quote builders. I'm really excited to see what you guys do with this because now you don't necessarily have to use variants or anything else crazy if you're building out custom things for your customers. You can just use a spreadsheet. As always, if you have any further questions for me, drop them in the comments below or be sure to grab some time with me on my Calendly. Thanks again for tuning in guys. I really appreciate it. We'll see you again soon.